All right, welcome everybody on YouTube and also all the people still here in Twitch chat for the last deck of the day for our 12-hour stream. Uh, we have another donation deck here with Orzov Angels. This one looks like it's going to be pretty fun. We've been playing a decent amount of Angels today, kind of in general. Um, so we got, you know, like our usual suspects here with these Angels. But here we're, we not only have Immortal Sun main, which is just a great card, card that I really like, we also have a lot of sweepers in the main. I'm excited to play Kaya's Wrath. I have not actually cast a Kaya's Wrath yet. I guess I have it limited, but not in standard. So we have three of those in the main. We got another one in the sideboard. We even have Cry of the Carnariums also. Then we have a couple of cards that, that I like a lot. Profane Procession and Ethereal Absolution. Um, so we have some cool enchantments here to go in our Orzov deck. A lot of gold cards. Looks fun to play. Here we go. Orzov Angels. All right, getting the Bant Adapt deck up on YouTube. All the rest of the videos are already up on YouTube. Lands. Where's our lands at? I think I'm keeping this. And, you know, we got 26 in the deck. So we're just hoping we hit land drops. That's why I'm, I'm very glad we have 26 in the deck and not 24. <laughs> uh, 24 with Immortal Sun. And, like, how we don't have, like, cards that draw anything that draws cards is... It's kind of not possible. All right, token-based strategy. Well, we're going to have... A lot of sweepers for token-based strategy. You're playing gates and somebody's playing binding and seal away. How can you counter it? Uh, that's probably a little bit of an oversight by me. I don't have anything to, like, with in that 75 to counter anything to destroy those enchantments. Oh, but then venerate Luxodon? Oh, I should have moment of craving in response. So they couldn't Luxodon here. Hmm. Alright, so we're still gonna we're still destroying that Luxodon. If I could have slowed them down just a tad. I was keeping uh the moment of craving in, in hand in case they have the uh the two two. That, uh, you know, like, that convokes and makes one ones, Amara. But once they cast the other Sapperling Migration, I think I should have, uh, just played it. Spore Swarm? Spore Swarm. All right. No Tristani, please. Good. That's not a Tristani. They certainly seem to have a Convoke spell. Like, they're kind of tapping their things. Alright, not a Convoke spell. Ooh. That's a good card. That's a good card. Yeah, I'm wearing a tie because uh, and this is how I like to present myself. This is how I like I and like how I look in a tie. Oh yeah, absolution out of this yeah, ethereal absolution against the token deck. Thanks, Maya. Yeah. We have all these Cry of Carnariums. I think we're ready for this matchup. <laughs> this has got to be our opponent's like worst matchup. Alright, so we're playing Resplendent Angel. I'm giving Seraph 
Vigilance. I think our opponent's just dead. Yeah. Even Flourish? They don't even have the mana for Flourish. Anyway. But even Flourish doesn't kill me. Because we're at 24 and we have 14 power of lifelink on defense. Yeah, this is what Dawnbringer does. Really glad we have Dawnbringer in our deck. All right, let's get Cry, Mortify. Um, I want the other like enchantment removal, basically. Like they're gonna have like Ixlon's Binding or Conclave Tribunal for our angels. I want to destroy their thing, um, and then Ethereal Absolution and another, another Kaya's Wrath. Come on out, we can take out Midnight Reaper and Immortal Sun. And uh, yeah, Immortal Sun's basically swapping out for the Absolution. Yep. And uh, maybe a Contempt. They could certainly be playing like a Johnny, Vivian, stuff like that. Um, maybe I just yeah, cut Contempt, bring in one Duress also. Yeah, I like that. Let's have this Duress just get him. Nah, Spyglass for Vanguard's not worth it at all. Uh, we have ways to deal with it with Cry of the Carnarium and of course of blocking, but then also uh, Ethereal Absolution also. Hmm. If we don't have Craving or Carnariums, we probably have creatures that can block it. Yeah, oh yeah, we also, yeah. Oh yeah, and we have Moment of Craving too? Yeah. This hand... Hmm, it's a mulligan. Alright, this is better. Yeah, this deck, I'm pretty excited about this deck. Uh, I am I am pretty high on Tithe Taker. I like Tithe Taker a lot. Oh, in general, if you don't have those in your 75 and you just have normal wraths. Oh. Um, yeah, if if you don't have... Yeah, if you don't have removal that kills Adanto Vanguard and you don't have creatures that can block it, then Spyglass, Spyglass for Adanto Vanguard is not... is not uh, unreasonable. Do they just have the same start again? Wow. Alright, it didn't work last time, but it's probably going to work this time. Uh, when he lands... Ethereum Absolution! When he lands... Uh, I, I prefer Mardu Angels. This is a donation deck. Um, but I like where this deck is. Then uh like what we're doing here. Wow. Canteen to blow your mind. So I have Kaya's Wrath. Um, if I take this and don't block at 16, next turn I'm taking that's 15 right there. 
I guess the extra 1-1 one, one just isn't really that, that big a deal. I'll just go ahead and block with this. You know... Yeah, the extra 1-1 one is just not that big a deal. Black mana? Not black spell, black mana. Well, I'm certainly glad we blocked, otherwise we'd be dead. Wait. Yeah, so this is 19? Yeah, 12 and 7, 19. So we need black mana. Hmm. I didn't get there. I'm still glad we have 26 lands and not 24. <laughs> As you've seen. All right, let's try again. <laughs> Godless Shrine would have been a definite spite. Oh yeah, opponent, opponent can't get a better hand than that. Or, I don't know, maybe they can. I shouldn't challenge them. All right, we got lots of lands. I think that's better. I think I'd, I'd rather have six lands than get mana screwed like the last game. I think we can draw into our wraths and everything, and now we'll have the mana to cast them. All right, deck, go on, give us our spells. Any spell will do. I'll take a spell, any spell. That's a good one, that's a real good one. There you go, deck, good job. Keep them coming. That's a mole on the draw with a scry, right? No, I don't know. I I think a really important thing in standard is being able to play your play your spells, especially. Uh, I don't know. So I I like just I like having lands, uh, especially when you have like a really high curve, um, like we do. Hey, consistently confused. I'd much rather keep a six lander than a one lander. All right, as you can see, so I kept that. Now the whole, you know, it's turn five and we've only drawn one spell. That's the problem. That's the problem. With keeping the lots of lands, that means that, you know, there's not as many lands left in the deck. We're supposed to draw more spells. You would think. Looks like they may tribunal this. Yep. Alright, come on, Wrath. We've drawn four lands and one Lyra. Hey, whenever I keep six lands, I don't want 80% of my draws to be more lands. You do not have to fight alone. I think we've you are capable we've only drawn we've drawn five see. cards. It's been four because we kept six lands and the Angel of Grace. So we've drawn four lands in the Dawnbringer. Oh, come on. Attack with the Tristani. I don't know why they put the counter on the... on the 6-5. This makes... like that's the card I'm blocking. <laughs> now that's the real problem. Really?
Well, I mean, even if they forgot first strike, it was a it was a five four. It would have traded with Dawnbringer, even if they didn't think of first strike. Like you know, moving it from five four to six five Be strong. doesn't do anything. Come on, attack with Tristani. Again, they had they had three they had a three three and all two twos. They should just put the counters on two of the two twos. Oh, that's a great draw. Thank you, deck. Thank you, deck. We drew a spell. We drew a spell. Look how far you have come. Come on, attack with Tristani. Ooh, they attacked with Tristani this time. All right, so I'm going to block Tristani with Lyra. First strike, it will kill it. And then Adanta Vanguard's now a 4-3, so I can block it. But they, they just pay 4 life. Let's just get this knight off the battlefield. So first strike will shrink all those. Alright, now we have to attack a Johnny. Johnny's about to ultimate. Ooh. We are, we are doing something. We are drawing spells. Okay, so I'm debating whether or not I should attack with Angel of Grace also, and I don't believe so. So, um, so Lyra is the card to attack with here and not Angel of Grace because, um, Because if they have a removal spell, like if they if they draw like another Conclave Tribunal, they gotta take out Lyra. And so I don't want Lyra to be back on defense. I want other creatures to be back on defense, because Lyra is the card they have to take out here. They got some big creatures. Alright, so we'll, we're just going to block Shauna with Seraph of the Scales. And we could give Seraph of the Scales Death Touch. I'm certainly very glad they just let me gain 6 life here by attacking with that thing. The problem with attacking with Lyra, though, is Angel of Grace is not as good a blocker. Lyra would have been able to block this 5 4. That's a good card. These 
Angel Graces are not even legendary. I am sorry. I must go. Yeah, I could attack them for a lot. Yeah, I could attack them for 13 and then untap and have 17 with like Angel of Grey saving me. I don't know, like, do they not have any lifelink at all with any of those things? I'm not sure. I don't know. I We're just kind of playing it safe there. All right, one to know. Good job, Lear Dawnbringer. Thanks for being amazing. Do you think the opponent played that wrong and could have won? Possibly. Some of those attacks weren't great. Maybe they just sat back and waited a little bit. Possibly. I'm not sure. All right, cool beans. Hello. All right, we got our first land. That was a really good draw. Kept kind of a little bit of a sketchy one here. But now our deck's supposed to draw us all those lands like they did last game. <laughs> yeah, the 11 lands, two spells. Hey, if you're going to have... Only two spells. Angel of Grace and Lyra Dawnbringer against Aggro. Against Aggro. Those are two good spells to have. Frilled Mystic. So we get this, this Midnight Reaper down in play before... We Kaya's Wrath. Let's go and draw a card. Yeah. All right, there's a fourth land. So we'll see if they just kind of keep up. They don't even keep up Frilled Mystic. Interesting. Interesting. Hey, we're gonna cast a Kaiser out here. You know what? I'm gonna do it. Call me crazy. Tithe Taker would have turned off real Mystic. That's true. It's a, f a very fair point. No land drop. Wanna get a land drop? Nope, I do. Alright, so I play F Angel of Grace on their end step. I think I only want to do that if I can untap an Immortal Sun. I think I want to know I can untap an Immortal Sun. Alright, I may have to just do it here because we have seven seven cards in hand. All right, come on, land. <laughs> uh, no land. I know that feel in Sculpted Mind.
Or it's pretty big. Pretty big. It's not like Resplendent Angel big or anything. I get one less point of damage in, but I don't want I don't want like the, the resplendent able to trade with the the hydroid crisis, right? So if I play like a mortal sun first and then attack for four, they can just block. Or if I I could also just not attack, you know. But I I don't want to sit back and block that crisis. So if I attack there right away, they're like, oh, well, they can activate. Can't you know? Can't sit back. Yeah, tomorrow's the sub email with uh, deck. Recommendations for the weekend. So I could go double Sarah for the scales. What are they doing over here? Like, if I just activate Resplendent Angel, what are they doing about it? If I spend my mana here, what are they going to do? Like, do they, are they just going to use a bounce spell here? It's unlikely, right? It's it's likely they just have Frilled Mystic, right? Or, or like, what are they doing? Because I kind of want to just activate Resplendent Angel. Alright, we're not doing that bad. I think we can. Growth Spiral, okay. Okay. Ah, uh, Dream Eater. Yeah, it could be Dream Eater. That, that's a that's a card that when I was you know trying to think of cards, Dream Eater is a, a card that could have been a thing. Uncountable five five. Because of Mortal Kombat. All right, so we kill the 6-6. Six, six. They have to chomp with the 4-4. Four, four. Mortal Sun's great. Ah, uh, could be incongruity. Yeah, incubation incongruity. That, that's a thing. Some people play that. Yeah, that could have been a thing. They had so many cards, though. Where are you going? You had so many cards. Alright, we need more instant speed stuff. Mortify, come on in. Uh, Kaiser Wrath was cool. Um, Eldest Reborn is... Honestly, probably pretty good in this matchup. This is probably a good Eldest Reborn matchup. I guess they could have Vivian that gets rid of Eldest Reborn. Vivian's probably something I want to have Spyglass for also. Oh, Biogenicus? That's a thing to Spyglass, I suppose. Profane Procession, probably great. I think I want to take out like one angel. Telly! I'm gonna go Telly. Or T3JJY. Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for subscribing. Sub number 30. Getting us to that lofty 
30 spot. I need to cut a creature. Um, I got one tight taker. Rounds out a couple numbers. 80 subs to go to the next. 12 hour stream, 30 on the day. Oh yeah, Spyglass, they can't adopt they can't adapt Growth Chamber Guardian. It's a good thing to not let them adapt. No land. Ooh. Let's attack. Oh, they they play instant speed quite a bit, like Frilled Mystic and stuff. Tide Taker can do something there. He's a little mad though. Get out of here, Wild Growth Walker. You ain't gain no life. Get out of here. All right, Yud. Have a good night. They're keeping that wild growth walker. Interesting. Maybe I should just be resolving Angel of Grace here and not have to worry about a frilled mystic. But I feel like... If they're keeping Wild Growth Walker on top, then their their plan is to cast that Wild Growth Walker. No, they're just going with Frilled Mystic. Which they can't even cast Frilled Mystic with Tithe Taker, so they must have had something else. Tithe Taker, they couldn't play it on my my turn, but like that's a reason not to play Angel of Grace on their end step. Uh, Spyglass is a better needle. You get to see their hand. Seeing their hand is such a powerful effect. And it also doesn't it doesn't get countered by Chalice on one. So you can play it in your art in your Chalice of the Void deck. Ugh. Or against the Chalice of the Void decks. Alright, 2-0. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, on the draw, 26 land deck. You can help us hit some lands. Yeah, the Angels decks have, have certainly gotten big upgrades. Uh, Seraph, of the, Seraph of the Scales and Angel of Grace are really good cards. They're, they're good upgrades for the deck. If you had to guess, which deck do you think will get first in the standard tournament this weekend? Um, I'm going to guess Bant Midrange. We got Tithe Taker Mirror. Alright, come on, deck. One land, one land. Let's get a land. We gotta play this four mana. Oh, now it's three. Now it's four. Now it's three. Now it's four. Mana Midnight Reaper. Alright, we're at exactly 12 hours. To the minute. There we go. That'll do. <laughs> yeah, Abzan Angel is you get Vivian. And you actually get to activate Shalai. Heck yeah. You get Growth Chamber Guardian. What? Did 
Did we just get got? We, we got got. Sentinel Mark got us. Oh yeah, I, I yeah, I, I guess I don't like this card one drill bit. I was saying earlier. So they have two cards in hand. We st we got six. We're about to have five after this. We're about to have five, and then whenever we like kill this four four, then we'll have four. So it'll be like four to two, as far as cards in hand. They also did not play a land this turn. So they missed a land drop there. I haven't cost much of the stream today. Ah, oh, Rex, you've been missing out. Been doing awesome today. Look at all these records. 5-1, 5-0, 5-0. We had a 3-2 donation deck, then 5-0, 5-1, and we are 2-0. We have been doing quite well today. Two four creature tokens you control have vigilance and lifelink. So that's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. We are 30 and 4 on the day. 30 and 4. That's good. Oh, I like Alenda's animation. So I can go ahead and kill Alenda. So I could kill Alenda there uh, before Alenda gets really big, but I don't think it's really necessary. These angels should be able to do it. Not blocking. Even if they would attack. Looks like we're going to the next game. It doesn't matter which Angel of Grace you play. It just it doesn't matter which one you, you play on Arena, like it it still counts as like the first one. As far as cards they see go. Alright, so I'm guessing I want Cry of the Carnarium, I suppose. Hmm. Profane procession. Exile some creatures. Ethereal Absolution, yep. I don't know. Cry of the Carnarium. I guess they could make their creatures bigger. I don't know. I'm not sure if it really matters. I think we're going to be good. I have faith in our deck. <laughs> yeah, Cry would stop the afterlife on the small creatures. You know, stuff like Tithe Taker. This thing. If we see more small creatures, we'll bring in, you know, if we lose and we lose because they have like a bunch of small creatures, we'll bring in Cry of the Carnarium for the third game. There we go. 
Somebody did it just a little bit ago. I don't, MTG bot takes a little bit of time sometimes. But there you go. Oh, got it. Drill bit's been impressive, though. I kind of wish I didn't just draw that Dawnbringer. No fits, I don't think so. Going to like the the esports, the arena esports tournaments are not, um, not my goal in life. Uh, goal is to just be streaming here every day and put on the best stream that I can. So vindictive vampire is whenever a creature dies, it drains. So we'll take one, because it's another. It doesn't count itself. So we'll take one and they get a 1-1. One, one. I think we're in a fine spot against a 1-1. One, one. Yeah, the drill bit art is so disturbing. It's like my least favorite of the arts. The cards. It's too scary. Too scary for me. I assume I, our opponent has removal for this Dawnbringer. They've known about it. They could certainly just have like the uh, Playcrafter that we saw last game. <laughs> no, I, I don't have any fear of dentists, no. It's just, it's so violent, the art. But yeah, you're right. Rakdos as a whole is is pretty disturbing. That is true. Do they have like seal away or something? What is going on here? Ah. Thank you. Thank you for allowing us to draw a card there. That was a good one to draw too. I think the best art goes to Angel of Grace. It's pretty good. I I think I may like the Seraph of the Scales art as far as angels go better. Yeah, I, I like Seraph of the Scales more. Bant Adapt is almost ready to go up on YouTube, so I'm going to finish that out here. do here. Just want to attack with both Midnight Reapers and trade with theirs. I guess I get to draw four cards, go to nine, and they get two one ones. I like drawing four cards. Oh, 
Uh, you're like the the royal color on the the angels of the purple shade. I mean, purple is my purple is my favorite color. So yeah, I understand that. <laughs> but purple is my favorite color. Whoa! Hey, that's a cool animation. I haven't played against this card yet. Alright, 3-3. Three, three. Whenever it attacks, I discard. Whenever cards put into an opponent's graveyard from anywhere, put a counter on it. Cool. As far as six mana cards, it's no Immortal Sun. And honestly, it's no Resplendent Angel. No, I'm not going to be at SCG Indy. That makes that makes things easier. Um I mean I don't I don't like the Kai's Rats in the main deck of that Abzan deck. Like you need another two drop. Maybe like some Thorn Lieutenants also or something. Or another Vivian. What just happened? They doubled their life total and I lost half of mine. Hey, it's up, Jersey. The most fun deck played today? Hmm. We had a lot of good ones today. Maybe Teamer Gates as the most fun. All right, three and zero. Or the Angels kicking butt. If I were going to Indy, what deck would I play? Um. Probably Naya value. I may I may try to like may try to get Bant mid range kinda going. So I really like the band cards. We're on the draw. Alright, we can keep this. Growth Chamber Guardian versus Thorn Lieutenant in Stompy decks. I think I like Growth Chamber Guardian more in Stompy decks. I think Thorn Lieutenant is a good defensive card. Yeah, Knight of Autumn is very good in the standard metagame for sure. The opponent kept a Woodland Cemetery Land War Elf hand. Ah, that's why they had Branch Waka. Branch Waka Waka. No, actually, so it's it's like a Militia Bugler deck, the Naya Value deck, so there's no, no Ravager. Um, but yeah, it has Knight of Autumn is mostly in the sideboard, but it has like the Explore Package, Direfleet Daredevil, 
um, a Johnny and Vivian, uh, Biogenic Ooze, stuff like that. Mm. That was one I was worried about there. Balance. Can't mortify that. To see what's left of Scala? Oh yeah, mid range Naya mid range definitely has a, a spot in standard right now. In my opinion. I could like try to go for lethal if I attack them down to eight. I have like eight on power next turn. Like I, I end step Angel of Grace, I untap, I mortify their blocker. I'm gonna attack them for eight. Um, that's certainly like a, a more aggressive line I could go for. They could play Carnage Tyrant that I can't deal with. Could also just gain life with a uh, I've seen with the Simic card, Hydroid Crisis. I could I could certainly see this being a four four Crisis here. You can't. And they just gain life and it's nature. not lethal, so I'm just gonna attack the Vivian. Yeah, I think they're gonna Crisis. That's what I was kind of thinking too. Uh, Naya value, Naya mid range, basically the same thing. The same thing. I mean, it's you can just you know like Naya mid range can be like a lot of different like there's a lot of different cards you can put in a Naya mid range deck, but not bad. Thank you. Thanks, Vivian. That was not bad. You're right. Beasts are much more reliable than. <laughs> Get that out of here. So they got two cards left. We don't know about. It's not many cards. So just taking out Vivian, because Vivian can like take out, find Chupacabra, something like that. Let's do this again. Yeah, I'm saving a Mortify for a potential crisis. Now well, they just got all the Vivians in their hand. Let's tear this place apart. That can't help you now. Hmm. All right, so they're at nine. If I block with Tithe Taker, they go to eight. I have four, five, six on the battlefield. A Mortify on something. Yeah, they're, they're almost dead. I think I may want to do this. No. Nah. No reason to, to try to win in these kind of matchups. You just... Uh, you're not attacking. No, we just keep on, keep on increasing our <laughs> battlefield position. I've seen worse. Kind of expecting finality. It's a little bit. Yeah, 
Yeah, Maya, we got there. 30 out of 30 subs today. Oh, and it's now 79 subs, it says. Maybe I missed one. All right. Uh, Sultai. So I really need these spyglass for uh, Vivian. Uh, Vivian killing all my creatures is rude. <laughs> Cry the Carnarium is good against Midnight Reaper. Yeah, Angel of Grace has been looking good. Yeah, Angel of Grace here for the skills are too big. Upgrades for the deck for sure. <laughs> um, I guess this is my Ethereal Absolution match. Yes, these, yeah, the Jade Light and Branch Walker die as soon as they enter the battlefield if we have an Absolution on, on the field, yes. If I play that, that's two cards. What are the cards I'm cutting? Maybe one moment of craving? I don't know. Our moment of craving killing their elves earlier was, was pretty nice. I, I do like the Kaya's Wraths. Trim one Dawnbringer. I turn one resplendent angel. Oh, Seraph has been really good. All right, after wizard, have a wonderful night. Yeah, no, Seraph of the Scales is really good. All right, these are the cards in our deck. We also just race Carnage Tyrant with our angels. No land. No land. Dang it. No Jade Light. Okay. At least it's not a Jade Light. So I know like we'd be able to wrath their board away, and so I'm not getting as much value with the wrath by playing the Midnight Reaper. But you know, we're taking more damage there. Like we take like um it could have negate, but we would take like another three, and so like we'd be you know, it's just we're just like closer to dying. Like we're gonna have things to do afterwards, and the Midnight Reaper there gets us that extra card that can help us get towards Immortal Sun. I think it's just a a good card to kind of play and keep, kind of buffer our life total a tad. Um, and also draw us a card to help us try to hit land drops towards the Immortal Sun. This game looks pretty over. This game looks pretty over. Bill Jr. is out of here. We are on to the final boss already at 4-0. No, Teamer, Teamer Gates is a strong deck. Yeah, we played against, you know, like a good amount of mid range, but we played against Mono Red also. Cool, Rex. Uh, the, the replays will be up right away. I'm going to be on at 3 o'clock tomorrow, 3 to 10, my normal time, 3 to 10 Eastern. Mm hmm. All right, final boss time. Where's our final boss song? Here we go.
we haven't dropped a game since the first match. In that first match, remember, we we just had three lands and we couldn't draw the fourth land for Kaya's Wrath. We hadn't draw, dropped a game since then. Consistently confused says, by the way, gotta say, I love the channel, love the content and how you interact with the viewers. Must have tuned in every day this week. Well, thank you so much. That's... I am glad to have you here. Glad you're enjoying the stream. Welcome. Okay, we need lands. We got we got some early plays though. Ooh, mirror match. Almost. Yeah, the angels have been really good. Uh, yeah, like these two are awesome. Oh, that's a that's good. That's pretty good. Uh, control is is where we would struggle a little more. Um, but I don't think we'd be awful against control. Like, I don't know. We got duresses and stuff. We're I don't know if we're favored. Probably not. Uh, Tithe Taker can jump next turn. This is a Cry of the Carnarium matchup, if I've ever seen one. Okay, what are you doing? What are you doing, boy? Knocking stuff down on the ground. That was my pen. Let's not get our land drops. So both of our games we've lost, we've only had three lands. Coincidence? Probably not. Let's get these cries in. Mortify didn't seem to do a whole lot there. Extra Kaya's Wrath, an Ethereal Absolution. Um, trim one sun, maybe two suns. Reaper out. Final boss is being a little difficult on us. I'm gonna cut one of the mortifies actually. Get this immortal sun back in here. That was a three minute game. All right, Black Source. Come on, you can do it. Come on, Black Source. Swamp, swamp, swamp. Goblet Shrine. Swamp. Swamp. Ooh. All right, we're getting there. Good. Oh, Houdini says, I haven't played Magic since 2006. Trying to get back into it. Really been enjoying your stream and the explanations. Any advice where to learn some of the changes in the last, like, 10 years to get up to date? Um, does anybody have any good suggestions there for... For Houdini there? I'm not... I can't think of anything... I'm also, you know, not thinking the absolute best. You know, just being later and everything. But I, I can't really think of anything with that. Is there any 
resource for that. Get out of here, Dawnbringer. I'm out. Bad. Alright, we answered two really important questions with the Bloodfast and the Dawnbringer. Hoping they don't have a third one there. Hope they just drop some, some more two drops. Play some more two drops. Uh, so far I've been most happy with the Mardu Angels deck that we had before, but uh, yeah, like this this deck's been pretty good. Been liking like the Kaya's Wraths and stuff here. Yeah, it looks like Peaceful linked a good article there. Thank you. Vigilance. No! My Dawnbringer. I need to bring the Dawn. Do you think Judith would fit in the big red shells with Find a Finality? She's she's definitely better as the top end of an aggro deck. Um, but that doesn't mean that she wouldn't fit there. You just have to value the chip damage that she does highly so I'm of course going to attack first before cry of the carnarium Can't mortify that thing. They have no creatures in the graveyard because Cry has exiled them, so good thing we're playing Cry and not Golden Demise. Yep, Hawkeye's the good luck charm. They have their hex proof. They have their hex proof from a uh, black card there. No land. No land. Mm. Get there. No. Alright, well I can Kaya's Wrath away the the Lear Dawnbringer. Perfect. Thanks, Peaceful. Found the found the perfect uh, article. Daga's in the living room. Taking a nap. All right, removal spell. Removal spell on the Dawnbringer and we win. Ah, oh, so close. Oh, it's so close.
Oh, yes, I could have. Y'all y'all are right. So if I if I just didn't block previously and save the three attackers, I could attack I I already knew I had one moment of craving in my hand. I could attack in, Lyra blocks one of my three creatures, whichever creature that Lyra blocks. I moment of craving my own creature and I deal two. Yep, certainly could have done that. Do I want to contempt that? It's not a planeswalker. Yeah, I don't want them drawing anything. All right, come on, deck. That's a good one. Looking for one of my six mana cards. Immortal Sun or Ethereal Absolution. You can do it, deck. Alright, we're safe for the scales. Reasonable. Uh, double moment of craving it? Give me my 1-1s. One I need these 1-1s. One 1-1s ones. One ones for the win? 1-1s! One yeah, okay. 1-1s one for the 5-0. Tilt! We were down a game that wasn't game 3. Oh, I thought that was game 3. It was so long. Uh, Alright. Back to the drawing board. Uh... So yeah, the Mortifies did kill Dawnbringer, so I suppose that's pretty useful. I guess Ethereal Absolution is not very good against their Mortify. Maybe I shouldn't have an enchantment against Morti like them having Mortify and stuff. Get this other Immortal Sun in here. I don't. I don't think this is a profe ma matchup because of Mortify. I don't think I want the enchantments. Maybe I'm just wrong there, though. But oh yeah, no, no. All their things are like pro white and pro black. No, that doesn't even kill anything. Eldis isn't good against the cheap creatures too much, um, but it's not bad. I like Mardu more myself. Looks like our opponent's trying to go for an alternate sideboarding plan. Ooh, now they're an alternate opponent. They probably like their alternate rock. Hmm. I won't keep the seven lander. Alright, I like keeping lots of lands, but I think seven is a tad too many. Favorite deck I've played today? Uh, the Teamer Gates was a whole lot of fun. That's maybe my favorite that I played today. There you go, you can find the Mardu Angel list in there. Play another creature. Go ahead. I want to play one more creature. Play another one. Come on. Dilt. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, Ice up, I'm gonna be writing. I'll write about that tomorrow. I'll, you know, I'm gonna email it to all the subscribers uh, with two or three decks to take this weekend with sideboard guide. Um. Yeah, substitute for Krasis is like explosion. Um, I think then you can just play explosions instead of Krasis. I think you're good there. Ooh, no removal for my Dawnbringer. Interesting. Guess I attack. We we could potentially take eight here though, back down to eleven. No, no vi no Naya value on the list anymore today. We got donation deck here for this. We replaced it with. And we've been streaming over 12 hours now. We're almost to 13. So we are... This is our last league. I'm going to be emailing them to all the subscribers tomorrow. I'm gonna write up tomorrow. Click, click email to subscribers and so on. So if you if you'd like to subscribe, you know that's Twitch Prime subs. Also get that as well. Um, I'll send that out a little bit before streaming tomorrow. Yeah, no, that's that's good. Ex expansion, explosion, and mass manipulation sounds good. This Argos blood fast is really good. It is really good. I do have a Memorial to Folly. We need our Immortal Sons. I put the second Immortal Sun back on here. Yep, to subscribers on Twitch. Yep, real. So you should be able to get it. I want to cast this Kai's Wrath right now before I start playing Dawnbringer. Does kind of just really open up my opponent to drawing a whole lot of cards. With us like not pressuring them at all. I think I need to save the Wrath for after they draw a bunch of cards, because I think they're going to draw a lot of cards with Bloodfast, and they can play like a bunch of like the Knights and things like that. And I think I need the Wrath for after that happens.
That's bad for me. So Memorial good in Mardu Angels. I don't I don't like the one color tap land in the three color deck. I don't love it here either. That was the first time that we used it. Can we draw a Mortal Sun, please? Please, deck. Is that so much to ask? I guess so. Yeah, right over here, Mr. Anki. Teamer Gates, 5 0. Good. They can go down to five and flip the blood fast. Play something else. Go ahead. All right, so now they cannot flip blood fast, which is perfect. I am very glad they cannot flip blood fast. They have nine coming in here. Hey, Shame. Thanks for the sub there, Shame. Sub number 31 on the day. We're down to 78. And Swaggin, joining the party as well. Gets us to 32. And 77 now. Thanks, Swaggin. Most powerful cards you've been playing against from the new standard, what's your pick? Um, the green cards are really impressive. Uh, the two green three, the two green two drops the, with Adapt, um, Biogenic Ooze, Hydroid Crisis. Those are all very impressive. Um, the Angels have been really good too, the Sarah for this Seraph and uh, Angel of Grace. All right, bad bad news is they have millions of cards. I don't do coaching uh, right now. Basically, the I I stream between seven eight hours every single day, and you know, that's a it's a good enough work day for me. coaching also yep 
you up here three to ten every single day. Uh, today was a special day for getting to a thousand YouTube subscribers. We did a 12 hour stream. Yeah, donating for a deck is basically coaching. That's a good point. Yeah, a lot, a lot of people do coaching. Absolutely. Alright, cool, Azora Hive, thank you. Um I think Golgari mid does Golgari midrange get better with splashing for Crisis main and negates in the sideboard? I do think they get better. Um They get better in like mid range mirrors and against control decks with that. I don't think they're I think they I don't think they get better against aggro with that, and I think aggro is already kind of a tough, like, mono white and stuff is kind of tough for Golgari. Maybe they just have two more lands in hand. Two more lands, no removal spells. They just have cast down. Tilt. Pass. All right, Immortal Sun. Where is this Immortal Sun? Immortal Sun, you're killing me. We can never draw you. We got two of you in here. Mm. <sighs> there it is. The Immortal Sun. Take us to victory! So they get to draw two cards this turn. Also. Mortify only destroys enchantments, not artifacts. Ooh, no creature. We get to untap. All right, all right, all right. The scales are tipping. No contempt. Here we go. Nice. They use the Mortify on that. Afterlife 2. Give me two two twos. Thank you. Just in case activating that Resplendent Angel matters here. Oh yeah, they had a lot of removal because we didn't play any creatures for a long time. I think we're gonna win this. We we top decked that Cry of the Carnarium, which was insane for us. It was so good. That's it! That's it! What a game.
What a match. Final boss defeated. Praise the immortal sun. Woo! What a day. What a day. So many 5 O's. Agent Sid with the sub also. Thank you so much, Agent Sid. That was an incredible stream. <laughs> 33 and 4 on the day. That's pretty good. Including, you know, donation decks, decks that, uh, um, you know, these aren't all decks that, like, I, I built or anything. So it's not like I was just playing, I wasn't just, like, playing, a, like, only, like, my decks kind of thing. You know, a lot of them were, but, you know, we're playing donation decks, too. So it wasn't just me being like, oh, I think this one deck's really good, and I'm going to play, and it's it's the best deck, and I went 33 and 4. No, we're, we're playing everything. And it was awesome. All right, we got uh, another five wins, another couple uh, gems. Um, yeah, oh yeah, uh, player skill, of course, helps with that for sure. But um, yeah, Orzhov Angels felt good. I uh, liked the Kai's Wraths. Um, I kind of wish we had a little bit more early, but maybe we don't need it with like the Kai's Wrath to help you... Uh, to get back, but man, these angels, Resplendent, Seraph, Angel of Grace, Lyra, Immortal Sun, like this, this is a nice package. And um, even though I think I still prefer Mardu because you get Lava Coil and Deafening Clarion, maybe you don't really need it. Maybe you just cry the Carnarium and you get all these Kaya's Wraths. Yeah, maybe you just go two color. Maybe a, a third Immortal Sun in the board would have been nice. Who knows? But yeah, it was all Hawkeye. Hawkeye, good job. Come here. You want to come here? You're just sitting there on the couch, all happy? All right, he's just sitting there. All right, open a pack to celebrate. All right, I like it. 31 and 4, we get a pack to open this. Pack. All right, let's get a mythic. What do we got? Lumbering Battlement. Eh, not the best. All right, there we go. Uh, thanks for being here, everybody. We officially made it to 13 hours uh, on the dot. So um, <laughs> that is a that is that nose in the battlement. <laughs> um. So yeah, uh, be back on tomorrow from three to ten. Uh, send an email tomorrow with a couple decks and cyborg guides for the weekend. Um, yep, stream tomorrow, normal time, 3 to 10 Eastern. Uh, there we go. Time for me to sleep, though, now. I need some sleep. I'm pretty tired. All right, uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, though, of course, hope you hit that subscribe button. Everybody in chat, if you're not following along on the YouTube channel, hope you go follow along there. There's a link, youtube.com slash c slash ToddStevensMTG. You can see the replays of the different decks that we played and that we have been playing. You can see the decks there if you want to check them out. If you're enjoying the stream, go, uh, go ahead and go watch those, and you can see the decks that you missed.